Hello everyone, I'm Valeria and today I will show you how to use units in MATLAB with Symbolic Math Toolbox. The contents of this video are really useful for projects belonging to various domains, especially when the goal is to represent real values. In the entire video, the adopted formula is the first one, namely the mass multiplied by the acceleration, but any other formula containing units would be suitable as well. The first step to start operating with units consists in using the simunit command to generate a symbolic unit collection, which contains all the units available in MATLAB. When a symbolic unit collection is stored in a variable, we can use the dot notation on that variable to select a precise unit we want to represent. In MATLAB, any variable containing a unit is stored as a symbolic variable, and this is valid even when scalar values are applied to symbolic variables. Units can be merged to represent a physical relationship and, naturally, the results of such unions are stored as symbolic variables too. Various information on units, such as what they represent and the unit system they belong, can be retrieved using the unit info function that requires a symbolic variable as argument. In order to check if a symbolic variable has compatible dimensions and consistent units, it can be used the check units function, which given a symbolic variable, returns a structure that contains a logical value in each field. The new unit function can be adopted when you want to define a custom unit, and such function requires the name of the new unit and the definition in terms of units and value. Given to symbolic variables, the rewrite function is appropriate when you want to express units in terms of different ones. Units can be converted according to the standards of a different unit system in order to represent a physical relationship using only the units that are present in a specific unit system. In order to pursue such a goal, it can be used the unitConvert function, which requires a symbolic variable and the name of a unit system. The aforementioned function is also appropriate when the purpose is to convert a symbolic variable to a specific unit. Multiple functions are suitable to perform units approximations. One of these is the VPA function, which requires a symbolic variable and the chosen amount of relevant digits that must be preserved. Since display functions may not show data about units as we desire, it is convenient to use the separate units function, which, given a symbolic variable, stores the unit and the related numerical value in two separate variables. Then, the simunit to str function can be applied to the variable containing the unit, transforming the latter into a string. In this way, the sprintf function can perfectly display both the numerical value and the name of the unit using the appropriate formatting operators. With that, my video is complete. For further information about the contents of this video, please check the official MathWorks documentation. Thanks for watching.